In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple user form with a combo box. First, we need to make sure that the macro settings are set to allow macros. So we go into File, Options, Trust Center, and click on Macro Settings. You want to enable all macros. Once we've tested the macro and made sure it works, we can sign the macro and then change the settings. You also want to go into Customize Ribbon and show the Developer tab. You'll need to restart Outlook for the changes to take effect. Now we can open the Visual Basic Editor on the Developer tab. Right-click on Project 1 and choose Insert User Form. We want to drag a combo box to the user form. And we want to drag a Command button to the user form. Right-click on the Command button and choose View Code. You'll see that Outlook has added some subs there for us. In the Command button one click, we want to tell it what we're going to do when we click the button. In this case, we're going to assign the item that was selected in the combo box and assign it to a number, and then we're going to unload the form. In order for the form to work, we need to initialize it, so we're going to remove the user form, click command, and put one in that initializes it. In this, we're going to add items to the combo box. If you want to change the name that shows up on the display for the command button, we can go over into the properties and in the caption type a new name. We can also change the name of the form if you'd like. Again in the caption we type a name for our form. Next, we right-click on Project 1 again and choose Insert Module. In this module, we will put in the code that we're going to use. With this macro, we want to select a contact item and then use the name and address to address a new message. And we want to be able to select a subject from the combo box. So we enter our macro. Then we go into Outlook to contacts, select the contact, and on the developer ribbon under macros, we can run the macro. It addresses a new message to the contact with the subject pre-filled in. We can use this with templates. I have some samples at slipstick.com that will show you how to do different things. 